Long tones are um, probably one of the most efficient, uh, broad spectrum and boring exercises that you can have your brass students, horn students, do to develop so many different things. Um, I think that they are, although very slow and sometimes boring to, to many of us, um, a more efficient way to cover a lot of things. Um, you deal with breathing, as we, we've talked about a little bit we've, in, in the other long tones that we've talked about. Uh, breathing, intonation, tone quality. We can also um, deal with uh, volume. You could throw in some articulations and practice um, just a myriad of basic fundamental techniques through the long tone. So there, it's, it, you know, it's, it's a, important to be able to make it an attractive thing to do. And sometimes for young players, that just want to know how to be a horn player and they want to play everything fast and loud and high. Um, it's important to, to have them slow down and do some of these fundamental exercises. And for the young beginning, beginning players who just uh, want what they want now and they want to be great already, um, it's, it's good to be a little bit more creative. Um, you might have to be a little bit more creative to try to sell um, long tones, not only to your young students, but to your more advanced students and for me, even college students as well. Um, for the little kids that are just beginning, uh, most of the time the, their lessons are half hour anyway and um, they just don't have the physical strength to play as many long tones as advanced players need to to maintain a lot of the, the, the good fundamentals that we have. Um, a couple of ideas for making them uh, deal with this sort of thing a little bit better. I would probably find some songs, lullabies, um, really easy tunes like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, I might have them put a repeat at the end or I might have them play it super slow um, so that they're dealing with the metronome also. Other songs that they know and like in different ranges, you can take the same song and move it up a little bit, Happy Birthday, uh, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, and uh, it, it just uh, there's dozens of songs out there that can be slowed down or played in such a fashion that the student is basically just uh, practicing with, with time on the instrument, time on the face, uh, in s shorter increments for the younger kids. Um, as they get older, um, you can start dealing with long tones as they ought to be, which is the more monotonous long tones. Uh, for the m middle development, I would probably add rhythm and some articulations just to keep it interesting, um, all the while realizing that uh, good air, good intonation, good tone, good sound, all of that stuff is the underlying theme. It's, as, as I say, the vitamin of, of playing, good playing. Um, and then with the older students, um, there comes a point where uh, long tones should be just one of those things, well, I've got to do what I've got to do to be a better player, and this is, this is what it's going to take. So I'm okay with that. And long tones can be um, at the more advanced range over the entire four octaves, or four and a half octaves, four, four octaves plus. Um, all the while keeping in mind that as your, your students are beginning, as they get older, we want to expand that range. We want to get them playing longer periods of time. We want, want the, um, the notes that they play to be longer so that they can start working on control. Try to avoid having the students always playing the fast stuff or the slow pretty stuff. We want to make it a, a great mix of things, um, but always having those long tones um, involved in the process. It's the daily vitamin of horn playing for sure.